Hi everyone, Dr. Ram here. In today's video, I want to provide some tips and tricks to help you optimize your sleep with a newborn in your household. Now, it's no surprise that when you have a newborn in your house, then it, it's very difficult to get the optimum levels of sleep. And it's one of those things that when you have your baby shower, the people warn you, hey, enjoy your sleep while you can, because after the baby comes, you're gonna be losing a lot of it. And there's a lot of truth to that. But there's a lot of tips and tricks and things that we can do to help us uh, get as much rest as we can. Now, the first thing, before we get into those tips, I wanna show you some sleep data that I collected before and after having my baby. So I, use, I wear something called an Aura Ring, which helps me track the quality of my sleep. So on this first picture here, <laughs> is a picture of what my typical sleep was like before having the baby. So as you can see, I got a robust amount of sleep with a lot of deep sleep and a good balance of REM and light sleep as well. Now, this second picture here is an example of what a typical night of sleep was after the arrival of my newborn. And as you can see, I woke up quite a bit and I spent a very little time actually in bed and a lot more time up and about and tending to the baby. So the first tip that I can give you as mom and dad uh, to help each other get maximum amount of sleep is make it a partnership. If you're a couple that's exclusively breastfeeding, then dad, you should be getting up a little bit earlier and getting the baby ready, meaning changing her, cleaning her, and prepping her to be breastfed. Uh, and then afterwards, stick around, and afterwards, the baby needs to be burped, so you can take that off of uh, mom's hands. Um, if um, and then the other thing while mom is breastfeeding is get mom what she needs, maybe snacks or things to eat or water, or maybe you can massage her neck or her feet to relax her a little bit more. If you're bottle feeding, so this is a huge benefit, there's benefit to bottle feeding is that mom or dad could be using the bottle. So dad, you could help there by cleaning the bottles or getting up in the middle of the night and taking shifts, right? Maybe. Uh, mom takes the first half of the night and dad takes the second half of the night so that both of you can get significant stretches of uninterrupted sleep. Now, there is a huge like uh, con to, to bottle feeding and that is nipple confusion. Now, I'll do an entire entirely separate video about uh, nipple confusion and how there's ways of mitigating that. And But sh short, to give you the quick answer, is that something called slow-paced bottle feeding that we were taught that we found extremely extremely helpful if you are going the bottle feeding route. Uh, next, um, <laughs> the fact of the matter is, is that we are just much better people when you're well rested. Uh, a, friend, a friend of one of our best friends, uh, they made a, an agreement between each other that anything that is said between the hours of 10 p.m. and 5 a.m. is forgiven, right? Because those are not your peak hours. You're maybe tired. And you're probably pretty irritable and you're likely to say things that you don't really mean. So they made an agreement and I think it's a wise one to, uh, to like ignore and uh, ignore anything that's said between those witching hours of 10 p.m. and 5 a.m. So there's something called, if you read the, the newborn baby care books, there's something called the easy method. It's the, the routine that you want to get your baby in. Easy stands for E, it's eat, A is awake time, S is sleep, and Y is you, you time, right? So what, a key tip is that when baby sleeps, mom and dad should also be sleeping and that's the time for you to get rest. Uh, and during that you time is a time for you to take a quick nap and to regenerate your batteries. Batteries. However, I know it's not always that easy because you're wound up because there's other things you need to do. You have your emails piling up. Maybe you have some tasks at work that you need to get done. And it's difficult in those moments to just fall asleep like baby does sometimes, right? So I wanna give you a few tips that has helped me fall asleep and to get relaxed. Uh, the first tip is something called box breathing. Now I've taught this technique to a few of my friends who have trouble sleeping at night and they said that they will do a couple rounds of this and before they know it they're up and it's like morning time like they don't even know how they fell asleep or where the time went they just like next thing they knew they're up and it's the morning time right so box breathing it there's now there's different variations I've been taught about this but the, the first the general way of doing it is you breathe in through your nose for four counts and then when your lungs are filled, you hold your breath for four counts, and then you let your breath out for four counts. So four, four, and four. 
Uh, and I've heard a variation of this where it's a four count in breath, four count hold breath, and then exhale for a period of five or six seconds. And the reason for that is because when you exhale for a period longer than the inhale, it activates something called the parasympathetic system or the rest and digest system. And it helps pe uh, mom and dad relax and help you get to sleep. Another helpful tip here is I started taking a magnesium supplement. First of all, because a significant portion of Americans are actually deficient in magnesium. Second reason is because it's um, an element that helps your entire body and muscles just completely relax and fall into a deeper, more relaxed sleep. The third tip that I recommend for people is to wear a sleep mask. It's those little lights that can cause disturbances in your sleep and having a sleep mask can reduce all those light disturbances that'll interfere with your sleep. Now, the fourth tip is no screens, no cell phones, no TVs, nothing one hour before bedtime. Now, I know this is... Uh, <laughs> Uh, difficult sometimes, especially because like maybe when the baby's asleep is the only time you have to look at your phone. So if that's the case is when you're laying in bed, it's the only time you get to look at your email and you can't avoid looking at your screens, then highly recommend getting blue blocking, uh, blue light blocking glasses, which these are. Um, they will block an overload of blue light that comes from screens that interfere with your melatonin levels and ultimately interfere with your sleep. Um, and uh, yeah, I mean, these are some quick tips that I would recommend that help me relax. Um, another another uh, helpful tip, bonus tip here, is that actually to meditate. Meditate right before you go to sleep and do some breathing exercises and just relax your entire body and clear your mind so that you can get more adequate sleep. Again, getting enough sleep is a challenge with a newborn. I hope you found some of the ticks tips and tricks here in this video to be useful to help you feel more rested so you can conquer your next day up ahead of you. Um, if you have any tips and trips, tricks that have helped you get more sleep with a newborn, please be sure to comment in the comment section below. If you like this video, be sure to subscribe to my channel by clicking this button here. That's it for today. Thank you for visiting the Dad Zone. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.